Hey guys, let's listen in on the Congresswoman. She's about to speak. Wow. Well, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am humbled and honored to now stand before you for the very first time as your Republican nominee for the United States Senate. <laughs> you know, it's tempting to celebrate, uh, but let's keep something in mind. This is not our objective. Our mission is in 70 days. We have 70 days to win this seat. And candidly, it's difficult to celebrate anything this week as we mourn the loss of Senator McCain. And we prepare to honor him here in Arizona and in DC before he's laid to rest at Annapolis. Senator McCain was an American hero. He paid an unfathomable price for our freedom and upon returning home, continued to serve with conviction, honor, and sacrifice his whole life. From my early days as a cadet at the Air Force Academy, we studied him as an example of courage, leadership, and honor. Senator McCain came to an event for me when I first ran for Congress. And he told the crowd there that the main difference between the two of us was that my takeoffs equal my landings, unlike him. <laughs> and that I shoot down airplanes and he gets shot down, in his words. <laughs> he, here was this larger than life patriot joking about being shot down and taking his time to support a fellow fighter pilot who followed in his footsteps. I am forever grateful to have had the chance to know him, to learn from him, and even to work with him on saving the A-10 Warthog. And in his honor, I'd ask us now, please join me in a moment of silence in the memory of this great man. Tonight marks the chapter, the next chapter in this campaign, the beginning of a 70-day sprint to electing Arizona's next senator. People are voting in just 43 days. It's a big deal. This is how I see this campaign. It's a choice between a doer and a talker, between a patriot and a protester. <laughs> between... <laughs> Do you guys like those side-by-side -side outfits? <laughs> Between a career fighter pilot and a career politician. Between proven grit and Hollywood glitz. Now, there's nothing wrong with Hollywood glitz, right? Right. Look, I am as impressed as anyone that my opponent brags that she owns over 100 pairs of shoes. I, on the other hand, have over 100 combat missions serving our country. <laughs> Look, my opponent is someone who is left of the Pelosi Democrats, who is a Green Party activist. She protested our troops in a pink tutu. She called to shut down Luke Air Force Base. She calls herself a proud Prada socialist. But now that she's running for the Senate, Hollywood cinema, and I like to say that, <laughs> Yeah. And, and I like to say that cinema with a C, Hollywood cinema. <laughs> She's undergone an extreme makeover, fabricating a centrist image to fulfill her ambition. She's a fake production running on a phony script in order to fool the voters. The contrast couldn't be more clear. I have and always been true to who I am. 
and I've spent my life in service to our great country. A lot of that from my father. You see, he was the first in family to go in his family to go to college. He served in the Navy and used his GI Bill to get his law degree. And he was driven to make a better life for us five kids in his community. And in 24 hours, when I was 12 years old, everything changed. We went from a day of spending time with family to him not feeling well to going to the hospital. He'd had a heart attack. And he was stable, but in the middle of the night, he knew in his spirit he was going to go be with the Lord. And he asked for his kids to come see him. I was blessed to visit with him, not fully really understanding what was going on. But in that last conversation I had with my dad, he told me to make him proud. He suffered another heart attack the next morning. At the age of 49, he left us. And those words make me proud, they were written on the parchment of my heart. As I began the now grief-stricken journey of life without him, at times it hasn't been easy, but by God's grace, I was propelled forward, carrying on his legacy and paying forward to others what he gave for me. My mom, now suddenly, went from being a stay-at-home mom in her early 40s to being a widow and a single mom with five kids. She could have spiraled into despair, but instead she sprung into action. She went back to school and back to work and spent over 30 years in public education. She grinded through the worst of her grief and she persevered because her kids needed her to. So if you wonder where I get my grit, <laughs> to go to the Air Force Academy, to tell my fellow male cadets, I'm going to be a fighter pilot, even when it was against the law. <laughs> well, I was just raised that way. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I challenged my own chain of command for eight years to stop forcing our female troops to wear fundamental Islamic dress when off base in Saudi Arabia, I call that the burqa battle. <laughs> well, it's because I was raised to believe a woman should be treated equally and you can't keep a girl down. All right, well, a couple of observations, guys. First of all, we're going to be, Arizona's going to be sending a woman to the U.S. Senate. And it's going for to be... For the very first time. For the very first time. That is time. history.